In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to provide liquidity on the native DEX of Polygon QuickSwap. I'm also gonna show you how you can yield farm the Quick token. If you're new to yield farming, I would highly suggest watching my video on impermanent loss to understand that you can lose money when yield farming. I'm gonna go through a very safe example today using stable coins. This will mitigate the possibility of losing funds due to impermanent loss, so it's definitely a safe way of yield farming for the inexperienced. And if you haven't used QuickSwap before and you haven't used the Matic network before, come and check this video out down here how to quick swap, I will leave it at the end. You wanna make sure that you've seen this and understood it before progressing onto today's content. And if you enjoy the content in today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon link down below. So quick swap and the quick token have seen a meteoric rise during the start of 2021. The quick token around $800 as of today, with a market cap of around 128 million, with many speculating this can go higher due to the fact we see other DEXs like Uniswap, like PancakeSwap, priced in the billions by market cap. Now this decentralized exchange now boasts $372 million of 24 hour volume. It went up to 900 million on the 19th of May. They now have 103 coins on here and 156 trading pairs, all of which you can provide liquidity for. The fees for using QuickSwap are 0.3% on a trade and liquidity providers receive 0.25% of that so it can be lucrative if you're in the right pools. So let's jump over to the interface here. So I've connected my wallet up already and I've already synced it. Again, if you can't get yourself to this position, check my video out on how to set up QuickSwap and then get yourself to this position here. So this is the interface, looks very similar to Uniswap. You're gonna need Matic here as the gas for this network. So this is the swapping protocol, but today's video we're concentrating on pooling tokens for liquidity rewards. So in the pool section here, this is where you can see the information, 0.25% of all trade fees go to liquidity providers proportional to their share. But how can we see what the APYs are for the various pools? Well, we click the rewards tab up here. So from here, we have the dragon's lair. This is somewhere where you can stake your quick tokens. This will be the subject of another video. You can see the pools I'm currently participating in, the die to USDC pool. And down here, you can see all the other pools, starting from the ETH to Matic pool. So all pools on this DEX have a 50-50 ratio between the two tokens being supplied. So there will be equal value of Ethereum and equal value of Matic, totaling $122 million. The order in which these are listed here goes by the amount of quick per day being given as rewards to the various pools. So this is the biggest yielding one at 95 quick per day. So we can see the total depositors, the total rewards, the quick rewards per day, the fees accrued in the last 24 hours, so over $182,000 and then the rewards plus the fee APY averaging around 111% right now. So if you wanna provide liquidity for any of these, go ahead and click deposit. But the one that I wanna pull out here is the USDC to USDT pool. As you're providing liquidity for two stable coins, you're not gonna be hit with impermanent loss. So again, if you are a newbie to this and you wanna just get a flavor of yield farming, I would highly suggest doing so with stable coins so you don't lose out. You can also see that there are quick rewards for this pool at 30 quick per day, shared between the total deposits of around $69 million. So from here, we can click on the word deposit and we're now prompted to add USDC and USDT liquidity. So we can click on that, but as of current, I have not got any USDT and I've only got 14 cents worth of USDC. So we're gonna go over to the swap area and we're gonna get both of these cryptos. So I'm gonna swap some of my ETH first for USDC and I'm gonna get 50 bucks worth of each of these. Then click swap and then confirm that and then MetaMask will prompt me to confirm there as well. The transaction times on Matic are very quick, so this will go through in just a second. And now I also want to get some USDT as that transaction's just gone through. So we'll click USDT, and then again, I want 50 bucks worth. 
press swap, confirm, and then confirm that on MetaMask as well. If you wanna see that on the blockchain, click on view on Block Explorer and it will show you on the Polygon network. So now I've got 50 bucks worth of USDT and USDC. I can either go over to the pool area and then press add liquidity, or I could go back to rewards and find the relevant pool just down here and click on deposit from here. So whichever one tickles your fancy, we will click on add and then we want to put 50 bucks worth of each. So I'll press max on USDT. So they're not totally balanced. There's a small percentage difference between the two. So roughly $49.95 worth of USDC is equivalent to $50 of USDT. If you haven't approved these tokens beforehand, you will have to click the approve button just so you can use them. And this incurs a small fee in Matic. So now that one is confirmed, I can press supply. I've previously already approved USDC as it's in another pool for me. So adding $50 of both of these cryptocurrencies will get me a share of this pool of 0.0001413%. So just a tiny fraction, but this is just to, you know, wet my whistle with the pools and get used to using them. I'm not trying to put in a ton of money at this point, but this is a good place to actually put your dollar stable coins to work. Maybe if you're taking out profits on the way into stables, or if you're sat with a big bag of stables right now, as you're not sure what to do with the markets, you can put those dollars to work in many different ways, this being one of them. So now that is confirmed, if we just go to the pool section again, and from here, you can actually see my LP tokens. So I will start to accrue rewards for this pool. You can click on view accrued fees and analytics, but currently this doesn't really load with anything. So you probably want to use an external site to track your LP position. So the one that I've been using is APY Vision. To actually get the full host of features on here, per $100 worth of liquidity you provide, you need to own one Vision token. It cost about $2, so I went ahead and bought one, as I've currently got 100 bucks worth of liquidity here. Uh, but this is my previous pool, my tester for USDC and DAI, so another stablecoin pool. And from here, you can see some information. You can see my starting balance and my current balance for each of these coins and how they've gone up or down. And you can see the net gain here. So I'm up 23 cents thus far. You can click on more information and then it'll just give you a further breakdown of your gains and your losses. There's obviously no impermanent loss because these are both stable coins. If you click on fees, so this is only with the pro version, you can actually see the fees that you've been accruing from these LP tokens. So I've been roughly getting four or three cents per day and cumulatively I've got 28 cents thus far on just $100, not a bad rate of return. And if you click on pool stats, you can see the APY of this pool and it's just been averaging around 11.78 or around 12.15% over the last 14 and seven days respectively. At the bottom, there's a red bar down here and the red bar is the amount of impermanent loss. It's pretty much nothing or negligible at worst because as I mentioned, these are stable coins, they're not gonna diverge in price. So impermanent loss doesn't really come into play. So you're just making a gain with this of around the high 11 to 12% per year but you want to stack the quick swap token as well. So you can get quick rewards, but for that you need to actually deposit your LP token in the rewards section. So let's jump back into quick swap, but that was APY Vision. It's pretty easy to use, shows you all the data you want to see. And to be honest with you, there's not a lot of competition on Polygon for LP management right now. So for me, this was the best one that I could find. So if we just go on to rewards here, and then we scroll down to the pools that we're participating in. So die to USDC, I've already got my funds in. But if we just keep going down to this new stablecoin pool, so USDC to USDT. So even though I've got the LP token currently and I'm accruing fees, I'm not accruing any quick tokens. So to do that, you have to click deposit. And so to stake my claim on some of these 30 quick per day, I need to deposit the quick V2 LP tokens. And you can see my balance down here, only a minuscule amount. Let's click on this and then press max, approve it, confirm and sign, and then deposit. And again, confirm that in your MetaMask account. So that has just confirmed for me. I'll click refresh to update the user interface here. 
And now we can see my deposit roughly 99 bucks. It rounds it down a little bit. And then you can see I'm going to be getting 0.00004341 quick tokens per day. So at the current price, this is around just three and a half cents, but this is going to add up. Remember, I've only got a hundred bucks worth of liquidity in there. So daily, this is not a bad rate of return and it's going to add to the overall APY of my liquidity provision. So not only getting the fees, but getting these quick rewards as well. So then if we go back to the rewards section once more, you will see both of my positions here, participating pools, USDC and USDT, 100 bucks in that one, and DAI to USDC, 100 bucks in that one. I would also note that even though there are more quick swap rewards per day in this pool than this one, so 30 versus 15, because there's so much more deposits in this one, and thus you'll get any pro rata amount of these quick, you can see from here, my rate of return is 4341 in this one and 4345 in this one. So I actually get more quick per day in the DAI USDC pool. So it's always worth doing the math, checking these out and making sure you're in the most lucrative one that you can be. So essentially to me, it makes no odds. These are all stable coins anyway. So if I was gonna put a large lump sum in, I would make sure that this one is the one that I attribute my funds to as it's gonna get me the greater amount of rewards because there's less people to split them between. And if you look at the fees as well, around two cents per day, almost four cents per day in this one. So that is how you go ahead and provide liquidity on the quick swap decks and how you deposit the LP tokens to get the quick token in return as an additional kicker reward. Clearly, if you've got bigger amounts of funds to play with, you can get more substantial quick swap rewards than my puny amount for these just $100 positions. But I hope this was helpful to show you how to go about doing this process and also how you can put your stable coins to work in this layer two decentralized exchange. Now make sure you view both the video on how to set up QuickSwap and also my video on impermanent loss. I'll leave them both on screen now for you. And if you enjoyed today's content and you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also check out my Patreon link down below and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.